Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video. Today we're doing another episode of checking out one of your guys' solar systems. But before we get into that guys, just a massive massive thank you as always because we're over halfway to 7,400 now. I mean, subscriber count right now is probably the, the, cra the craziest it's ever been increasing. I mean, it's literally been two weeks since we got 7,000 and we're literally already about... Well, yeah, literally almost halfway to um, 8,000 ready, and it's literally been two weeks. I mean, we could get it by the end of next month if it continues going like this. But yeah, just a massive, massive thank you to everyone who's recently subscribed. Everyone who continues to come back to the videos all the time, just a massive thanks. It's, it's absolutely crazy how um, good things. It's better than ever right now. So yeah, massive, massive thank you to you all. But yeah, to getting into today's episode, we've got two systems from Cyrus Plays here. And also, I'd like to say as well, the upload chat in the Discord server is finally open again, but I've got some new sort of rules with it, and that is two systems per person maximum you can send at once. And then once I do them, I'll delete them from the chat just to keep things a little clean because there's just so many systems that get sent in it's very hard to keep up so if i delete the ones that i've done then it hopefully makes it a little easier for me to go through them all so yeah that's my um new thing now so yeah anyways getting into it yeah like i said we've got two from cyrus plays so i'll leave a link to him down below um because i know i definitely have a link for him so yeah the first system we've got is the mega yama system i hope i'm pronouncing that right so if i go ahead and search this up so it's the mega all right but hang on, wait. I don't think I need the the at the front. It's just M. Right. Yeah, so it's... Yeah, M-E-G. Okay, so... Here we go. Right, here we go. So the Mega Yama. I'm, I believe that's how you say it. Right, here we go. So this is a sun... Okay, so warning, this is a sun. Escape pod. After finding the cannon, the other species has infected most of the crew. Never returned to the gem system. I think I have one called gem system as well. I think this is an older one. Yeah. This is an older one. Okay, so I guess we can sort of compare this to this gem system after we're done, just quickly. Um, but anyways, let's go ahead and see what we have got here. So here is the system. Right, so we'll go ahead and head to the star itself. So here we are. So there are its stats there, so bigger than the sun, more luminous, hotter as well. Nice blue star there. Right, first planet of the day here. So this is still, and I'm liking the atmosphere colour. It's got one of the cream um, coloured atmospheres on it there. So with some nice like creamish coloured clouds as well. So this is more this is like a Venus atmosphere, which is not as thick as the normal Venus um, for atmosphere thickness in the files. So it does actually look quite cool when you uh, lower the thickness on it. But um, yeah, there it is there, 470 degrees. So it's like a hybrid between Venus and uh, Mercury, I'd say. Like you can see the surface, but it's also got a pretty uh, spooky looking clouds there. It look pretty hot, as you can see. Yeah, 400 degrees there. So there we go. Right, so that is still. Next up, we have got Vanus over here. So this one is very, very red, as you can see. Very red and black color scheme, 240 degrees here. Very, very small in size as well. So there we go there. Nice color scheme with the red and black. Definitely looks really, really cool. Rightio. I'm surprised that object's not smoking up, actually, with that low amount of mass near a star like that. Right, anyways, moving on to Falcon. Ooh, I'm liking this. Black and orange. Black and orange bands. I'm liking that. Oh, and it's also got a sweet looking moon called Vulcan. It's also one of those crazy cloud fire godlike objects right here. And that that's looking very, very fine. I, I, you guys know, if you've seen these episodes before and just been on the channel for a while, you'll know I love the crazy cloud objects like these. These are so cool because when you land on them, you actually have a sky to look up to. Look, if we land underneath, it actually has a sky just because of the amount of clouds. I mean, look how cool that is. Oh. These are so cool. I love these clouded objects. It looks so, so, so cool. Um, where is the gas giant? Can we even spot it through here? I mean, look how look at these clouds go. Just looks so fiery and crazy. Um, anyways, gas giant. Can we see it? Oh, and now it's completely dark. Because you can't see them in the uh, night time, the clouds. So it just goes all dark. And there we go again. But where is the uh, gas giant? Can we see it? No? W where is it at? Uh, gas giant. Okay, so there it is. So if we land here, then um, if we look around. So there's the gas giant there. So if we go under the clouds. Wow, you can barely see it. The clouds just make it pretty uh, mysterious. But there you go. Now there's a better view of it there. Looking really, really cool view of the gas giant with the clouds as well. That looks really, really cool. So there is Vulcan and then Falcon there. Really, really nice little uh, planet and moon there. All right, now moving on to home world over here. So this one is an Earth-like planet by the looks of it. Same mass, same radius. I guess it's got climate mode as well. So I'm guessing this was Earth originally. Um, so there it is there, all of its stats. 
Um, let's check these um, life stats. So 96 and then 85. So we've got some very, very high stats in there. It's also got some rings. Purple um, surface there with the white, obviously, in the north with the climate mode. Very big north and south pole since the temperature is only at one or almost two degrees there. So, yeah, those ice caps are definitely going to be bigger than normal. So, yeah, really cool. Then we have a Vesta here. Hey, we've got a little Vesta. So, there it is there. Rightio. And then moving out, we have Akam over here even further out. So, here it is here. Cool view of the um, planet as well. So, there we go. So, that is Homeworld. Right, now moving on again, we've got um, this one over here. So, this is Purpura. So here we go. So this is more of a... Uh, is that an ocean world underneath? I think it is mostly ocean. Yeah, you can see there's a bit of land. But yeah, mostly an ocean world with a magenta sort of purple, pinkish atmosphere here. 8 degrees. Stats 98 and then an 89. Or 87, sorry. So yeah, really, really good stats on this one as well. Nice purple, magenta coloured atmosphere too. Very similar size to Earth as well. So there we go. That is that one. All right, now moving on to Freezer. So I'm guessing this one is cold. I think I remember this. One. I think this was in that old gem system. Yeah, we'll definitely have to check. He said, even though it said do not return to the gem system at the uh, message at the front, I definitely think we'll have to go back and have a little comparison quickly. Um, but yeah, here it is here. So this one is also with a white atmosphere, white surface, and all of that good stuff. So there's freezer, minus six degrees. So there we go. Right, now, moving all the way out here to these objects. So Alpha Sapphire Nova remnant over here. So this one is in a binary with Omega Ruby. So we've got two binary stars. Any planets orbs in these? Nope. Very small in size. He's a, I'm guessing this is a white dwarf. And then this one over here. More of a brown dwarf. Or not brown, more of a red dwarf sort of star. Then it's also got the incinerator husk. Oh, I think I remember these. Yeah. I do remember the sun incinerator probe. I remember that name. But yeah, here it is here over here. So I'm pretty sure that destroyed um, stars. Also, I, had something, I, definitely, def I definitely remember that. So yeah, there is husk. Right, so it also has the escape pod over here. So sun incinerator escape pod. So here it is. It's a little escape pod over here. It's one of the little probes. The New Horizons probe, um, to be fact. But yeah, there it is. So yeah, it's a little glitchy when you zoom in on small objects. I mean, big systems for some reason. Really annoying when it does that. But and yeah, there it is. So zooming out again. A very big distance between all of these. And then back to the star over here. So yeah, there we go. So that is all of this system. So let's go ahead and... Yeah, we'll get a lineup of them all first before we uh, quickly switch that one. So here's all the objects. We only have one gas giant in this one. And yeah, that one does look really, really cool. But yeah, best rocky planet is definitely the one with the yellow clouds. I mean, these things are so cool. I love those planets um but yeah overall pretty nice um collection of objects in here i do like that um this magenta one as well the pinky magenta one that's really really cool and i did like this still one as well i say that is a pretty cool looking um object there with the um thinner sort of venus atmosphere on it there so yeah there we go all right so now we'll quickly go ahead and hop in his old system that we did um loads of episodes back so here's here's the old system so this is a solar system with two stars with a starship called sun incinerator which can Incinerator sends ready to fire at the main star. Yeah, so yeah, that incinerator, this blew up those, or this blew up the Alpha Sapphire star. Because as you can see right here, it's a normal star, but in the other simulation we were just in, it was a white dwarf. So yeah, this little guy here blew up this star, which is a uh, pretty crazy. And I'm guessing all of the objects around it here, we'll just quickly click for them all. But oh yeah, I remember these ones. So yeah, all of these objects would have been destroyed in that Nova. So yeah, all of these guys. So, yeah, there we go. Is that other star in here? No, it isn't. Okay, so that, that new system we were just in is an add-on to this one in the future as well. So, yeah, pretty, pretty cool. I like that. I like to have it where um, systems are related to, like, older ones that people are sending. I like that. It's like a like, like, like bit of a story timeline going on to it, which I think is really cool. But, anyways, moving on to his second system of the day. This one is called the Flood System. Here we go, the Flood System. So, let's go ahead and load this guy up. All right, here we go. So, unknown disease identified, the flood. Scanning home system, info acquired. Now, that may actually be a Doctor Who reference. I'm not sure. But the flood, if anyone ever saw Doctor Who, The Waters of Mars, the villain in that was called the flood. And they were basically infectious water on a, at a Mars colony in the future, which is quite cool. But um, I believe it's also something to do with... Uh, it does say Halo there. I'm not sure. I don't know much about that. But could be... Um, Related to both, I guess. But yeah, to me, that would be a Doctor Who reference. But anyways, so... I don't know, hang on. Like, nope, I didn't want to get rid of that. No, let me read that. So yeah, here it is here. 
so um, gas giants. Okay, so he's just saying a few things about all of them. Okay, so we've got some... We'll keep that open, actually. So let's go ahead to the star first. Right, so here's the star. So this is the flood. So this is the star. Actually, we will close that. So, yeah, the flood. So here it is here. Looks like a red... More of a red giant-like star. Looks like it's bigger, more luminous than the sun. Temperature's cooler. Um, we'll get a comparison with the sun quickly here. So there it is there. So, yeah, a lot bigger than the sun. So this is probably like a helium burning sort of sun for size wise anyway. Right, anyways, first planet, we have Derg here. So yeah, we'll go ahead and turn all of this off. Right, so here it is. So a nice orange gas giant, as we can see there. Looking really cool. So then we've got Dyer over here with a yeah, ratio. Is that a ratio of atmosphere? Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, look at that. Nice bright yellow over there. Then we have this one. That's a Ganymede texture, actually, as you can see. Yeah, that's Ganymede. Damation. Then over here we have Dutch. So this is a small little micro object. It's a small little micro Mercury actually there. All right, cool. So there we are. All right now moving on to the second object. We'll go to um, Sobek over here. Now I do remember another system having spore clouds. I think a few. I'm not sure if it, if it's just Cyrus, but I'm pretty sure a few people have done stuff to do with spores. I can't remember precisely, but I, I do remember spore clouds and these spore things being in other systems in the past as well. So it's cool to have some continuity going on with, between episodes, which is yeah, pretty cool. So yeah, there it is. So that's one of those infectious spore clouds, which infects all the inhabitants of these planets and stuff. So there we go. So we've got another spore cloud out here. Another spore cloud. Yeah, I definitely remember these being in previous simulations. So then we have the flood home world over here. Ooh, look at this green atmosphere. Oh yes, green, all green, looking really, really fine. We'll check the stats on this. 95 and then 67. Got some really high stats on these guys. So we've got some more spore clouds. Oh, there's a lot of those clouds around. Then we've got flood comet over here. Let's see what we got here. Is this a yellow or green series? It looks like a tinted series. Yeah, it is. There you go. So it's a tinted lime green sort of coloured series there. <laughs> that's pretty cool. So there we are. Alright, so that's Flood Comet. Okay, so moving on to Battleground now. So this was one, yeah, he mentioned at the beginning. This was one that was obviously in ruins. So there we go. It's got like a Mars atmosphere colour, sort of like a pale... It's not the same as Mars's regular atmosphere colour, but it's quite similar. Orange, reddish atmosphere. It's very icy as well, minus 20 degrees. So there we are. Right, then that's also got spore clouds around it. So yeah, these things are everywhere. <laughs> right. So there's that one. Got another spore cloud out here. All right, moving on to frost now. So this one here, going with some light blue and white. Obviously a frozen up world, as we can see here. So yeah, pretty chilly here. So there we go. Rightio. So there we are. All right, next up we have got Aegis over here. So this is a nice blue and black banded one. We saw that in one of the older systems as well. Um, oh, we've got another Flood Comet here. So this one's got a ton of those Flood Comet series around. We have Invested over here. Nice green colour on that as well. Looking really, really cool. So there's its stats as well. 75 and 37. Looking really, really cool. Then we have another Flood Comet over here. All right. So there is all of those guys. All right. Then we have... Okay. So that's all of those. So now moving on to Halo Array over here. So this is a Juno Space Probe. As you can see that. So here it is. So yeah, really, really weird when you zoom in on. Look at this. The camera's like all funny when you zoom in on small objects. But now moving out of this completely, if, if I saw what I think I saw, I think we're going back to that sapphire style, which we saw in those previous two systems. So if I zoom out a bit. Yeah, there we go. Then So the, all these systems that we viewed today are all linked. Look. And then there's the star we saw in the previous simulation, just without its planets. Cool. So and it's got one. So then it's got the home world around it as well. We saw that in the other sims. It's got, this is cool. I like this. Like all different solar systems, but they're all like related, and I like that. So the Alpha Nova. So this is also in the future. So the only one at that gem system that we, the one I quickly went to, that's the furthest in the, back in the timeline, I guess. But then this one and then the one we just checked out, they're both related, which I think is pretty cool. So yeah, there are those. All right, cool. So yeah, there is that. So then we have the flood and then all of the objects around that. So really, really cool. So yeah, we've got three systems all um, related here. So if we go back to the other um, one, hang on, which one though? It was, um, how do you say it? No, it was, oh yeah, it was mega, not mag. Okay, so there we go. So then obviously going back to the other star again, we've got all of the planets around that as well. So yeah, really, really cool. 
I like that. So he never returned to the gem. I'd like that. It's cool. So yeah, the gem system would have been around the Alpha Sapphire Star here. Because obviously when we checked out the gem system earlier, all the planets are around the Sapphire Star. So yeah, I really like that. That's cool. So yeah, there we go, guys. That is it for today's episode with these two really, really cool systems, both related to one of the older ones that he sent in as well. Really, really cool stuff. Um, yeah, I'll leave a link to Cyrus Plays down below in the description as well. But yeah, that is... Yeah, really, I really do like that. It's probably got to be one of the best, like, sort of storyline um, systems I think we've seen. I, I really like um, how they're related to, like, the older ones. And, like, how they're both of the sim or both of the solar systems in these simulations are close to each other. Um, I really do like that. So, obviously, in this one, we have this star. And then in the other simulation we were just in, this star and then both of these, the Alpha Sapphire, that was in it as well. And then we had a system even further out with the ones we just saw with all those spore objects. I, I really do like that, I have to say. So, yeah, massive um, thanks to Cyrus Place for sending those in. I think they're very, very interesting. Um, yeah, like I said, I'll leave a link to him down below, guys. But, yeah, let's also see if we can go for 40 likes on this video as well, guys. And also subscribe if you're new. Helps on the journey to 8,000 subscribers. And also, if you've got your own systems to send in, go ahead and join my Discord server and then upload them there. The chat is now open. But remember, maximum of two systems per video. Remember to um, only post two as well because I know um, if, you, if you post three, I'm pretty sure my admins will clean that out because we are very strict with the rules on this one. Only two I only upload two per person until I do them. Then you can upload another two. So, yeah, please um, keep that in mind. Um, but, yeah, so, yeah, make sure you guys all do that because uh, it just makes things a lot easier and it's nice to have everything all organized because um, last time there was just, like, people were posting, like, five, six, seven systems. And it's just impossible for me to keep up. So, yeah, just try and uh, keep in mind that uh, I'm only one guy and there's a lot of systems to do. So, um, yeah, that all out of the way, though, guys. Yeah, like I said, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. And, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. So make sure you have a great day and goodbye.